Simfi Wujma gets tired of fame and comforts Connie. She reveals the sad part about being famous. Simfi Wujma is tired of the ill treatment prominent people get as she suffered a great deal of it. Sim stuck to Instagram and aired her frustrations when it comes to the consequences of fame and how they are subjected to disrespect just for being in the limelight. The sad part about being a public figure is that people will bully you and bully on social media and you have to take it and take it and take it. If you clap back or reply then it's an article in some newspaper. Yes is ma'am. She exclaimed. Simzik screenshot. The actress and mother to a beautiful baby boy try to remain in her own lane and she does that so effortlessly. She has gone through so much and recently had to relive that experience all over again. She lost her husband Jumi Masila in 2017 months after tying the knot. On the anniversary of his death, she penned a very sweet note on Instagram directed to herself and it reads. I'm in awe of the person you have become. Four years ago, this day broke you and someone new was born. It hasn't been easy but you've conquered so many battles. I appreciate your smile because I know how many times you've cried. Today, I choose to celebrate you for living your truth. For being gentle and soft. For believing in love no matter how many times it broke your heart. Let the sun shine in your face. Her courage, strength, and growth were commended by her followers who also applauded her. Speaking about her late husband, Simfi sat down with Mac G and described the type of man she married. Of course, I knew that it was meant to happen the way that it happened. But, I felt like there is no reason good enough for it. I would ask God those questions. What's the reason behind it? They always say everything happens for a reason but I felt like, what that reason? I didn't understand but I never lost my belief in God. I think at that time God was the only thing that made sense in my life. It kept me sane, shared Sims. A lot of people be like how did you get up on stage and sing and all of that. And I was like because, at that moment, everything was so heavy in my spirit. The only thing that made sense was God. I'm a Virgo, I'm a perfectionist and I like planning and I like doing things by the book. She continued. I've done that most of my life and here's something that I didn't have control over. Something that I couldn't maybe pay for. For it to go away. There was absolutely nothing I could do about that situation. So the only thing I could do was look up to God. She added. Simfi Wu also had the words to comfort a grieving Connie Ferguson. As a woman who went through what she is currently going through, Sims advised her to remember the love they shared, it's that moment that you realize, nothing else matters. Only love, family, and the legacy you leave behind matter. You did it. Uncle Shona, 